other Earth-like planets that have intelligent life. If we get any kind of uh, message of intelligent life, then I'm going to suggest our scientists uh, try to make contact with it. Our solar system has seen its fair share of asteroids and comets, and we have a pretty decent understanding of how these cosmic objects behave. But how do we explain a strange cosmic object that is so fast it defies all laws of physics for objects its size, and has an even weirder orbit and physical properties? Scientists have just detected a weird, unidentified object headed straight into our solar system. And the question is, if it's not an asteroid or a comet, what is it? Where is it coming from? And where is it going? Join us in today's video as we explore this massive object detected entering our solar system. Earth is filled with hundreds of powerful telescopes that have picked up and observed thousands of asteroids and comets floating through our solar system. But on the 19th of October 2017, the and STARS telescope in Hawaii spotted an incredibly strange and mysterious object heading straight into our solar system at incredible speed. The strange object was soon determined to be an extrasolar object, meaning it originated from outside our solar system and hence became the first recorded interstellar object to make its way into our solar system. The strange object was given the designation Oumuamua, which is quite fitting as it's Hawaiian for scout or first messenger. For an object that has left astronomers scrambling to categorize it, Oumuamua isn't a very large object. According to NASA, this unique piece of space rock is roughly 400 meters in length, having an aspect ratio of 10 to 1, meaning it's 10 times as long as it is wide. At first, scientists categorized Oumuamua as an asteroid, but quickly discarded that theory, as it was observed to exhibit behavior not common to any known asteroids. Firstly, the aspect ratio of Oumuamua is completely different from any recorded asteroid, as it has an irregular cigar shape, which is in stark contrast to the rather spherical shapes of most asteroids. Secondly, it was moving at incredible speeds not common to any asteroids in recorded history, at least not any found within our solar system. Following its discovery, scientists determined that with its current speed, we only had a limited window of observation to study this stranger from another star system. As such, telescopes around the world were simultaneously directed to measure the orbit, speed, color, and brightness of the object before it got out of reach for even our most advanced telescopes origin. Tracing its trajectory, it was determined that Oumuamua appears to have entered our solar system from the direction of the Vega star system in the constellation Lyra. Taking into account Vega's distance from Earth and the speed of Oumuamua, scientists determined it would have taken the object over 600,000 years to reach us. It is still a mystery as to how long this object has been traveling the galaxy, with scientists stating it could have originated from a star system billions of years older than our solar system. Astronomers have also speculated that Oumuamua could have been ejected from its star system some 45 million years ago and could be a fragmented part of a tidally disrupted planet. The characteristic shape of the object suggests it could be the result of a violent collision or explosion of some kind, causing it to be ejected on its journey across the galaxy. Oumuamua made its way into our solar system from the northern plane of the ecliptic, such that it flew right by the sun. It was far enough to prevent it from crashing into the sun, but close enough to use the sun's power powerful gravitational pull for a hyperbolic slingshot upwards and out of the solar system almost as fast as it entered. Scientists only had a short window of 11 days to observe the object before it flew right past the sun and is currently making its way towards the edge of our solar system in the direction of the Pegasus star system. Speed. So far we haven't been able to learn much from our interstellar visitor, but if there's one thing scientists have been able to determine for sure, it's just how incredibly fast Oumuamua is. Forgoing the fact that Oumuamua headed straight for the inner solar system such that it made a close flyby with the sun, Earth, and much of the other inner planets. It did so at incredible speeds of over 196,000 miles per hour. According to NASA, that is three times the speed of an average main belt asteroid found in the solar system and over a hundred times faster than a speeding bullet. With that kind of speed, it's surprising the object has yet to collide with any solid cosmic bodies during its million years journey throughout the galaxy. Non-gravitational acceleration. While Oumuamua has been determined not to be an asteroid, it has also been observed not to be a comet either, but somehow it exhibits properties common to both. Well, if it's not an asteroid or a comet, then what is it? Well, the answer is 
scientists don't know. Oumuamua exhibited some traits that not only proved it was indeed from outside our solar system, but suggested it could have artificial properties. During its closest flyby near the Sun in 2018, Oumuamua exhibited an unprecedented increase in acceleration, which was free from solar gravitational action. This was observed when the object reached its maximum velocity of 17 meters per second during its closest approach to the Sun. This increase in velocity isn't uncommon in cosmic bodies, and is characteristic of comets when they come close to the Sun. This process is known as outgassing, and occurs when volatile chemical substances within a comet evaporate as it is heated by the sun. Outgassing in comets always results in what is called a coma, or tail of gases, that results from the evaporating gases from within the comet. But Oumuamua showed no sign of such outgassing and no visible tail was recorded. This begs another important question. If outgassing didn't cause the increase in velocity of the object during its closest approach to the sun, what did? Harvard astronomer RV Loeb proposed that Oumuamua's increase in speed near the sun could mean the object could be capable of harnessing solar energy to increase its velocity for its journey through space. Using data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, Loeb postulated that no significant heat was detected on the surface of the object, which is incredibly strange, as it was more than 17% closer to the Sun than Mercury at that point. According to Loeb, the surface of Oumuamua must be incredibly shiny to be able to reflect much of the Sun's radiation, which he states is common to solar rails, capable of harnessing solar energy. This would mean Oumuamua may be some sort of artificially designed object, which uses solar radiation to keep it moving throughout the galaxy. This would definitely explain why the object entered our solar system at just the right angle, directly above the Sun, only to leave just as fast as though it had gotten enough energy and data from our inner solar system to move on to its next destination. It would also explain the object's incredible speed and its unambiguous nature, redness and folly. Oumuamua's unusual speed isn't all that supports a possible artificial origin, but the outer composition of the object also also supports a more extraterrestrial purpose. Observations based on the curvature of light around the object reveal that Oumuamua has a significantly red outer layer, which scientists have attributed to scorching from millions of years of exposure to cosmic radiation in interstellar space. This reddish color also indicates that the surface of the object contains tholins, which are some of the most primitive organic compounds not common to objects within our solar system. When exposed to water, tholins make up some of the raw materials needed, prebiotic chemistry, which which results in the basic chemicals needed for life to form. The existence of tholins has been traced back to the origins of Earth, and it's widely speculated that Earth may have been seeded by tholin-rich comets and asteroids early in its existence, providing the raw materials needed for life to form. Tholins have not existed naturally on Earth for over two billion years since the first prokaryotic cells began to form. In essence, Oumuamua could be on a mission to seed some distant star system with the raw materials it needs for life to form, and may just be passing through our solar system for an energy boost before continuing on its journey. This theory becomes highly feasible when we consider that data from the Kepler satellite indicates that about a quarter of all the stars in the galaxy have habitable planets similar to Earth, possibly with liquid water on the surface. For all we know, Oumuamua could be on its way to kickstart life on one of those distant planets. What do you think? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.